on the phone. <laughs> Roy Hubley. Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Roy? Oh, you better get over here real quick. We're in big trouble. <laughs> well, don't ask questions. Just get over here. <sighs> no, 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 no. Don't say anything. Just smile leisurely and walk away and then get the hell over here as fast as you can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mimsy, your father's on his way over. Now I want you to come out of that bathroom and get married. <laughs> Do you hear me? I've had enough of this nonsense. Unlock the door! <sighs> Mimsy, darling, you know your father's temper. You're just nervous. Everyone goes through that on their wedding day, sweetheart. You love Borden and he loves you. You're gonna have a wonderful future. So please unlock the door! <laughs> <laughs> Mimsy, darling, if you don't care about your future, think about mine. Your father's <laughs> going to kill me! <laughs> oh God, oh God, okay. Mimsy, please, if you open the door, I'll get it annulled next week, please! Normal. Oh shit. <laughs> well, he's here. Heaven help the three of us. Why are you standing here? There are 68 people over there drinking my liquor. If we're gonna have a wedding, then let's have a wedding. Come on. Come, come. Come. <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said? Mm -hmm. There's another couple waiting to use the green room. Can we please have a wedding? We can't have a wedding until you and I have a talk. Are you crazy? No. <laughs> there are five musicians over there paying for $70 each and an hour. I'll talk to you later when we're dancing, okay? Get Mimsy and let's go. That, that's what I need to talk to you about. Mimsy? Oh, you're not going to like this. Is she sick? She's not sick exactly. What do you mean she's not sick exactly? Either she's sick or she is not sick. Is she sick? She's not sick. Then let's have a wedding. Mimsy, Mimsy, there are $200 worth of cocktail frankfurters getting cold downstairs. Mimsy. <laughs> Where's Mimsy? Promise you're not going to blame me. <laughs> blame you for what? What did you do? I didn't do anything, but I don't want to get blamed for it. <laughs> What's going on here? Are you going to tell me where Mimsy is? Are you going to take an oath you're not going to blame me? I take it, I take it, I take it. <laughs> now where the hell is she? She's locked herself in the bathroom, she's not coming out, and she's not getting married. <laughs> <laughs> no, no kidding, where's Mimsy? He doesn't believe me. I'll kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Mimsy! 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 Open this door, Mimsy! All right, what did you say to her? I knew it! I knew you'd blame me! You took an oath! God will punish you! <laughs> I'm not blaming you, I just want to know what stupid thing you taught her that made her do this! I didn't say anything! I was putting on my lipstick, she was in the bathroom, I heard the door go click, it was locked, my whole life was over, what do you want from me? <laughs> I see. So you're trying to tell me that the normal, healthy, intelligent, 21-year-old college graduate who's been driving me nuts in the last 18 months with 
floral arrangements, wedding lists, and choices of hors d'oeuvre has suddenly decided to spend this, the most important day of her life, locked in the bathroom? Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> you must have said something! Oh. Mimsy! Mimsy! This is your father speaking. <laughs> it's, it's no time to be having second thoughts. It already costed me $8,000 for the first thoughts. <laughs> Mimsy, open this door. Is that all you care about? How much it's costing you? Aren't you concerned with your daughter's happiness? Yes. Yes, I'm concerned with my daughter's happiness. I'm also concerned with that boy over there. A decent, respectable young man who I hope one day is gonna teach that daughter of mine to grow up! Uh, boy, will you please try to control yourself? <laughs> All right, I'll stay here and control myself. You go and marry the short skinny kid! <laughs> Mimsy! Mimsy! What if she's not in there? Oh, she's in there. <laughs> oh God, I think I'm having a heart attack. <sighs> I can't hear a peep out of her. Is there a window in there? She might have tried something crazy. <laughs> That's right. Tell the woman who's having a heart attack that her daughter's just jumped out the window! <laughs> Are you gonna take a look through the keyhole if she's in there? Why don't you look? Maybe she's taking a bath. Wouldn't I have heard the water running? You, the water running. You couldn't hear the Niagara Falls with that hat on. Oh. <laughs> Are you gonna take a look? What I'll your daughter look. is up to? I'll look. Look. Oh my God. What? I ripped my stocking. <laughs> is she in there? She's Where did we fail her? We didn't fail her. They're playing Here Comes the Bride and she's barricaded herself in the toilet. We must have failed her. Roy, stop blaming yourself. It's not your fault. I'm not blaming myself. <laughs> I know I did my best. What's that supposed to mean? We're only human. We're not perfect. We make mistakes. I did my best and we failed her. Meaning I didn't do my best? Um, I'm not saying that. I don't know what your best is. <laughs> Only you know what your best is. Did you do your best? Yes, I did my best. <laughs> and I also did my best. So we both did our best. Then it's not our fault. That's what I said before. <laughs> Unless one of us didn't do our best. I don't want to talk about it anymore. All right, all right. What do we do now? I'm having a heart attack. You think of something. <laughs> me? You don't need me. You need a rhinoceros with a blowtorch. That's the only thing that can, into, can get into that bathroom. I'll tell you who's going to get into that bathroom. Someone with love and understanding. Someone who's going to help that poor girl who's going through a terrible decision right now. Help that only you can give her and that I can give her. That's who's getting into that bathroom. Now see something nice. <sighs> Mimsy, Mimsy, won't you please come out so we could have a talk? Mimsy, darling, do you want me to come in there, sweetheart, just the two of us? What, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? 
Wait, hold it away. I can't see it. <laughs> I would rather talk to daddy. <laughs> I'll try not to be too long. <laughs> well, maybe I didn't do my best. Just because me and my mother don't speak doesn't mean we can't be different! <laughs> Gordon? Yes, this is Mr. Hubley. Um, could you come over to the bathroom, please? Yes, now. Thank you. She wanted me in there because she couldn't bear to say to both of us at the same time. The reason she barricaded herself in the toilet is that she's afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid of what they'll become. I don't understand. Well, think about it. <laughs> What's there to think about? What's there to understand? They're gonna get married, they're gonna have children, they're gonna grow older, they'll become like us. <laughs> well, I never thought about that. <laughs> It makes you stop and think, doesn't it? Well, I don't think we're so bad. Well, sure we yell and argue a lot. Sure we agitate and frustrate each other. So you accuse me of being a bad mother and I accuse you of being a shitty husband. <laughs> doesn't mean we're unhappy, does it? <laughs> what, does it? <laughs> she wants something better. Hi, Borden. Hi, Darlene. Listen, Borden, you're a respectable, intelligent young man. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. Um, we have a serious situation on our hands. What's going on? Mimsy is worried. Worried about your future together. Um, afraid of what the two of you will become. She barricaded herself in the toilet. Um, you're the only one who can communicate with her, and uh, it's up to you now. Alright, alright. <laughs> Yo, Mamsie! It's Borden! Cool it, alright? <laughs> alright, I'm ready! <laughs> <laughs> this is what Bring we're gonna stuff. let her marry? Mimsy, cool it. Kids. What the? <laughs>